Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Salesforce to Power BI in 2024. So integrating, of course, Salesforce with Power BI allows you to visualize your CRM data and make informed decisions. So in this tutorial, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step guide to set up this integration. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically go to this URL section. Here, make sure to go both to Power BI, open new tab and go also to your salesforce.com. This will take you right away into their account. If you have like a language problem like this one, you can simply just go to the language right here and change it to all other countries. Or instead, you can simply just change the URL into just remove everything like after uh, salesforce.com slash and just type a U in here and hit the enter button. This will change the language to English as an example, as simple as that. So here, make sure to log in into your account. Of course, have our login, click on Salesforce, log in into your account if you don't, if you have one, if you don't have one, all you need to do, just go and click on try to our free. You will have a 30 days free trial, free of charge. You don't have to, as you can see in the obligation, no payments and no credit card required. So you don't have to worry. Just fill up all those informations as you can see, nine uh, in total. So just fill up some things in here, click on next as you can see. So uh, some informations in here, as example, click on next, of course. Okay. so at uh, so gmail.com as example i'll just add an ad in here i'll add some things here then click on next example fill up your comf company uh, employees uh, company language uh, agree to the main service agreements you don't have to check this option if you don't want to receive like marketing communication etc then click on start your free trial and you will be good to go for power bi of course it's going to be the same you'll need to go log in into your account basically you just go and sign in into your account if you have one and of course if you don't have one you you will have to go here and click uh, as you can see if you have an account uh, click on sign if you don't click on get started for free or start for free as an example try for free you will be able to simply just start filling up your informations and creating your accounts of course a gmail uh, email wouldn't work uh, i guess let me just go and check uh, I don't think like, yeah, you cannot sign in with your personal account. You'll need to sign in with the work email. So make sure to sign in, in with the work email, click on next and create your account and you should be good to go. So once you're logged in, of course, so I just opened like this demo right here of Power, uh, Power BI so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see, once you are here, of course, you will need to connect uh, this Salesforce now to Power BI. Basically, of course, uh, like it's up to you if you want to download it on your uh, PC. You'll be able to download like Power BI on your PC if you want to. It's uh, it's up to you, totally up to you. You can use it like on the web or on the app. It's going to be the same thing. So once you, uh, as we said, go in here, you will need, of course, to first make sure that's uh, your or open your Power BI desktop or web. And then simply you can click on Get Data in the Home tab. Of course, you'll find it like this as an example. I'll just open Outlook and show you like the UI, how it's going to look like. So the UI and this top option will be the same. All you need to do, just click on Home and you'll find a Get Data option in this, in this option right here. Click on that Get Data option. Once you click on Get Data option, of course, window, you can simply search for Salesforce. Uh, once you find it, of course, you'll find like a, a Salesforce object. Just go and click on it or select it. Or if you didn't find Salesforce objects, you may find Salesforce report. Based on your data, of course, needs, you can choose one of those. You might find both. If you didn't find both, you just select with the one that you find. Once you click on it, you'll find the connect option. Just go and click on that connect and you'll be prompted to sign in to your Salesforce account if you are not already. If you already signed into it, all you need to do is just go and uh, it will be, of course, like taking you to uh, Salesforce. If you are not connected to an account in Salesforce, you will have to connect into it again. And yeah, you will see, of course, a list of your available Salesforce objects or reports. You can select the data that you want to import, as example, uh, into your Power BI. For instance, as example, you can choose, uh, as example, accounts, uh, contacts, or opportunities, as example. And you can click on load to import the data into your Power BI. The data will be loaded into your Power BI, as example, workspace. And you can start creating your reports, as example, and dashboards. 
And yeah, as simple as that, it will be very easy to do. So in order basically to get the data, as you can see on the Power BI like app, or sorry, not app, like uh, web option, you'll have just four options. You'll have the Excel option, CSV option, uh, paste or manually enter data as example, like this option, or simply pick a published semantic model. If you click on it in here, as you can see, you can simply look for something that is, if you click here on add, add data, you'll be taken here to a lot of uh, sources in here that you can take from. So you'll not be able to get it specifically from Salesforce. And of course, okay, let me just close the demo. Basically, once you want to get it from Salesforce, you'll need to download, as you can see, if you don't see the source you're looking for, you'll need to download the desktop app. Of course, just go here and make sure to take yourself here and make sure to simply, of course, they'll take you to Microsoft Store. You'll need to go and get the Power BI desktop uh, option. And once it's downloaded, all you need to do, is just open it up. Uh, of course, you'll need to do that like very early. Of course, once it's downloaded, I'll come back to you to show you exactly how to do it so you don't get confused. So once it's downloaded, I'll just go here and click on open, as you can see, as simple as that. And it should be opening right away. And of course, all you need to do, as we said before, log into your account, go to your homepage, click on get data, and you will find. So as you can see now, you can get data from a lot of sources, not just like Excel or whatever it is. As you can see, you can get data from other sources on the home screen. Once you click on get data right here, as you can see, if you didn't find what you want in here, all you need to do, just go and click on get data from another source. And as you can see, you'll find here all the options that we want. And here you'll need to look for Salesforce, as we said before. And as you can see, you'll find objects and reports. You can choose one depending on whatever you're trying to get data from. As an example, I'm trying to get resources. And here, of course, they will ask me to uh, do to Salesforce reports API limits. Only the first uh, 2,000 rows will be retrieved for each report. Consider using Salesforce Objects Connector to work around this limitation if needed. So here you'll have to enter your URL of your uh, square, uh, not Squarespace, sorry, of your Salesforce. And here, as an example, of course, once you have your account, you'll have a URL of it. Once you have that URL, basically just go and enter it right here. Click on OK and your data should be get there and of course you will, will automatically like it will be connected to salesforce to power bi now of course once you import this data you can start creating your uh, reports and dashboard troubleshooting some common issues and you should be good to go so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye